In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get CEO's email addresses or anyone else, in fact, for free with just a simple hack. Check it out. Hey, welcome you two to another episode in my channel. This is Julian right here. And today, I'm going to share with you how you can get email addresses of CEOs for free with just a simple hack. And if you stay tuned to the end of the episode, I'm going to share with you another method how you can get also CEOs email addresses or even other people's email addresses from certain companies, whichever companies that you want. All right. So let me share with you a little backstory how this came about. Over the past few weeks, my team and I, we were doing an online summit. And in this online summit, we had to interview CEOs of Fortune 500 companies. We had to interview uh, celebrities, entrepreneurs, uh, you know, branding experts, speakers, so on and so forth. All right. So what happened was my team also decided to pivot to another direction. I know it's on online summit, but we decided to call offline companies, like actual companies to get them to buy tickets. All right. So we were stuck because we didn't know how to get those email addresses. And that's what prompted me to you know, do some research. And then, and that's why I'm so showing this video to you because I want you to also learn how we got those email addresses and we managed to close some sales, all right? So without further ado, let's jump right in and I'll show you how it goes, all right? So before we start, we need to get some Chrome extensions. And the first Chrome extension that I need you to install would be one called LinkedIn Sales Navigator. LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and I've already installed it, so I won't show you how it goes. It's pretty straightforward. Just right, you know, just key it in your search bar, and you'll be able to find it. Next, Chrome extension I need you to install would be called Name to Email by Reply. Name to Email by Reply, and I'll put the link to the description, uh, link in the description box down below, so that you can uh, access it much easier. All right. So once you've got then these two Chrome extensions installed, you're ready to rock and roll. And if you're ready to rock and roll, so give me a thumbs up, smash that thumbs up button so that you can expect more videos like this. You will get a notification every time I release a new video when you subscribe as well. So please don't forget to do that. Oops. So Jack, all right, back online. And thank you for joining back me back in. All right. So next thing. What I have also created is a spreadsheet. And in this spreadsheet, uh, just something that I just came up with, uh, I have name, title, company, website, and email address. And this will be a spreadsheet that I use to put all my um, database, all right? So I'm just gonna call this uh, worksheet for YouTube subscribers. Okay, so these are for all my YouTube subscribers or even my YouTube viewers because not all of you are my subscribers just yet. Remember, this is subscribe, 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 subscribe. You know what I'm saying. Anyway, um, so name, title, company, website, and email address. Okay, so very quick and simple. First of all, you also need to have another LinkedIn address. So I just inst I just uh, signed into my LinkedIn and you need to be able to search for a company. So let's just say I am interested to search for this company called ClaritySSI.com, right? This company seems like they do healthcare communications. I'm not sure what that is, but just say I'm interested to look for the CEO of this company, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to search for Clarity SSI. Okay, let's just see if it comes up. Okay, uh, there you go. Something pops up. So I want to look for the CEO. So I'm going to click on all filter. You can see that right there. So this is the company I'm looking for. And then scroll down to title and I'm going to select, I'm going to key in CEO. And click apply. Okay, so there are no CEOs in my list. Let me see what else I can do. Okay, let me just try and remove these and see if it comes out. CEO, okay, this is not the one. Okay, let's just see. How about Clarity SSI? Clarity SSI, does it come up? Nope, I have no idea who the CEO is. Okay, so if it doesn't come out, another thing you can do is you can just quickly Google Clarity SSI CEO, right? Let's just see if somebody comes. Oh, there you go. Uh, Sean Rotterman. 
Okay, so this is the CEO of Clarity Software Solutions. Ah, no wonder, because it's called Clarity Software Solutions. So let me check. Okay, of course, the CEO needs to be somewhat famous, or at least, you know, there is some details about the company. So let me just try one more time. CEO, apply. There you go. This is the one. Okay, Sean Rotterman. Okay. So what happens next is now we want to find out his email address. So now that you've got his name, it's much easier. So I want you to now go to your Gmail account. Uh, just click on Compose. And now that you have your both Chrome extensions, LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and also uh, name to email by reply extension over there, what we're going to do is we're going to get this person's details. Okay, so I'm going to click this first. Um, Oops, what did I click? Okay, Sean Rottermund. I'm going to copy his name. Let's copy his name. All right. Put it in this list here. Okay, the title. Title is CEO. CEO. Okay, company is Clarity SSI.com. Okay. Yeah, Clarity Software Solutions. Clarity Software Solutions. There you go. On top there is the same. Okay. So now we got that. Let me put this in the company website. Okay. Clarity Software Solutions. All right. Perfect. What's left is the email address. I'm going to show you how to do that in a very short while. So I'm going to do this. So if you see name to email by reply, it requires you to put in a certain format. So the input format needs to be your first name, last name. Okay, first name, space, last name, and then space at company.com. All right. So more often than not, we know that the domain name should be part of the, you know, the actual website that the company is using. So I would assume that the domain name would be clarity ssi.com uh, we're not sure but we can try it out so how we're going to do that is i'm going to type in uh, sean rottermund and then after that at clarity ssi.com all right so what happens is you can see that there are a couple of email addresses oops that came out okay, let's try that one more time sean Rottermund at SSI.com. So I'm going to put this a little smaller so that you can see what's happening. Um, basically, you can see that there are a couple of uh, email addresses that popped out, right? So if you ho hover over this email addresses, you will see that something pops up. There, there you go. You saw that. So this is the one that you can see at the side here, uh, we have all the details of the sales in, from the Sales Navigator app that was installed. Uh, it actually links to your LinkedIn, okay? So if the person has a LinkedIn account, you'll be able to find it very much easier. So his email address is this one, srotermund at claritysi.com. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy this one right here, and I'm gonna put it inside okay so now how do we check if it's correct we go to this call uh, mailtester.com hang on let me just check mailtester mailtester.com uh, and we use this website to test if the email addresses that we got are is, is legit okay so click the link check address and then we'll wait for it to do its magic and there we go it says email address is valid so if the email address is not valid just say that i'll just remove the s and let's just see what happens there you go email address does not exist in this server okay so you can check if an email address is valid right here also note that sometimes you may not be able to check because um the website or the email server may be having a firewall that prevents any uh you know random Tom Dick and Harry to check on to, to just access those emails. 
So those are something that you cannot check, especially works for banks. Uh, banks usually have a powerful protection firewall whereby it prevents people, anyone from just uh, you know tapping into the servers and checking uh, those email addresses. So just something that you got to be aware of, okay? So you can see we've got this guy's details, Sean Rotterman, and this is e his email address. Okay, so what happens if you're not able to find out his details from this method? Well, since you stayed until the end of this video, which is going to be ending really soon, I'm going to show you one more method that you can do. You can install this app called, or this extension, sorry. It's called Clearbit Connect, okay? Install it and just log in. What will happen is you will see this icon at the side over here. So when you click on it, okay, it will say find email address. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the company's name. So for example, the company's name is Clarity Software Solutions. I'm not sure if this is the one. There you go. Uh, there's someone's details, but it's not the guy. Um, but there is this guy from Clarity Software UK. So I think it's the UK branch. Uh, let me try Clarity SSI. There you go, Clarity SSI, aha, there you go. So you can see the details of so many other people that are working in that company. You have the CFOs details. Oh, there are two CFOs, that's weird. Um, director of PMO HR Specialist, so on and so forth, Chief Growth Officer. Uh, let's see if there is any director, let's see, Director of Operations, there is no executive. Hmm, that's weird, there is no... CEO, CEO. Let's see if it appears. No, no results. All right, but here you go. You can see that there are details of so many other people uh, from this company that you can reach out to. Say you're looking for the HR. There you go. You have the HR's details. Here you go. All right. So this is another way that you can use to check for email addresses as well. So there you go. I hope that this has been useful for all of you. I hope that this has been useful for all of you and if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe also so that I know that you enjoyed this episode and if you have any questions, feel free to put in the comment section below so that I can assist you whenever you need anything, alright? So I'll be trying my best to answer any questions that you have, let me know, alright? So with that, thank you so much and I'll catch you on the next episode. See ya. You